Chairman, you note the time when you close the public hearing before the board makes comments after they've heard the public hearing. Just so you know, because you never can tell what might end up in court. At never know. the Budget Committee's meeting on January 31st, <coughs> Selectman Barnes made a very impassioned peroration regarding the uh, her notes uh, apparently that weren't shared with the rest of you uh, related to the <coughs> conversation with Attorney Gerald regarding the 91A dispute uh, at that meeting and it is on tape uh, members of the budget committee <coughs> asked for a copy uh, you were at that meeting Mr. Chairman the budget committee members asked for a copy I have not seen a copy yet I did send a reminder email to Selectman Barnes and received no response. So I am asking once again, in behalf of the Budget Committee, if she will please fulfill their request this week and get a copy of the six odd pages of handwritten notes that were read to the Budget Committee. Uh, number two, regarding the 91A uh, mess, you and I have known each other for a long time, Mr. Chairman. Looking back, I think it was insulting to the Municipal Budget Committee that either you or Attorney Gerald could not have picked up the phone and called me. You have scared and upset all of the members of the Budget Committee. I am the one who did all of the emails Selectman Barnes had the emails that I sent in her computer. Um, I think that what was done was directed at me and the Budget Committee took the fallout, which is uh, not acceptable. I am going to ask you to have the uh, Town Council release a statement you have printouts of almost everybody's emails and so forth, and you could have just gone into Regina's emails and not bothered the rest of us. Uh, the Hampton Union does have copies of my emails that I provided to you. I would like to see a statement from Town Council clearing the members of the Budget Committee of any problem, and if you want to go after me, gentlemen, man up and do it in public. Anybody else would like to speak publicly? Public comment. There's an oil again. Just a quick comment here. <laughs> Jim, uh, if, if we didn't give the mid-year raises or hire mid-year people, uh, that money would not be in the following year's default budget. But by doing it, it goes in automatically. And as far as um, <coughs> Bean's comments, uh, <clears throat> yes, we did have an open billet. You're right. And the, the, the decision was to replace it with Chief Sullivan, assistant town manager, making him assistant town manager. But there was a, a significant difference in the cost. We had to get those costs changed twice to get them accurate. There was an assumption that Mrs. Robinson was being given a significant raise, which she couldn't have been given because she's no longer with us at the time. And so it was misrepresented in terms of the cost differential. There was a significant cost differential between that addition and what Mrs. Robinson uh, had at her position. So we watch, I watch these things very carefully when I'm on the budget committee, which I wasn't this past year. But I think that just, there's, there's just an over-interpretation of what's contractual and what isn't. And mid-year moves with wages, significant wages, and additions really affect the following year's default budget. Because they wouldn't be in that budget. Those costs wouldn't be in that budget and approved by the electorate or submitted to the electorate if they weren't done in the mid-year. That's what bothers me. It doesn't seem to be right to doing that. You give a budget to people in March, they approve it, and then we jack it up by a lot of dollars with these wage increases in mid-year, especially in 014. 
And now I see it happening in 15 and 16. Thank you. Anybody else would like to speak for public comment? Surprise, surprise. Michael Pierce, 84 Lock Road. In relation to Regina's remarks about the default budget, um, <clears throat> things that were different in there, there was 40 or 50 some items, okay, in the, in the default budget that were corrected by the finance director. So I want to make sure that that's on the public record. Thank you. Anybody else would like to speak? Mr. Chairman, I thought I might hang around and correct something that might have been stated accurately. <laughs> the chairman of the budget committee stated that everyone on the budget committee was upset and scared. I wasn't. I wasn't aware of a survey being done on the question of that, for that matter. But I certainly wasn't. I knew what was happening nine months ago. I was informed that there would be a, a Warren article put out there to eliminate the budget committee. And I knew that all the attacks that Mary Louise likes to think were personal. They weren't personal. They were all part of preparing the public mind to engender hatred for the budget committee so that they could vote yes on getting rid of the budget committee. That's the reason, isn't it? Absolutely. Because I, too, have some information on the side that I get from people that you are not aware of, Selectman. And this, this, this Warren article to eliminate the Budget Committee was conceived 12 months ago and was beginning to be written up nine months ago. All of this kangaroo court that has taken place in this body, having the lawyer come in and say, oh, yes, this is what the law says, and oh, the Budget Committee is doing this wrong and that wrong, yet when all the evidence that you requested from us is given to you, Mr. Chairman, there are no order. facts put point forth order. that say court, why point. we're guilty. One wonders if you're going to have a show trial on the Budget Committee that you don't invite point someone from the Budget Committee to represent okay. their position. You can make your point. I let's am making get, my point. And let's I appreciate that. I appreciate the opportunity for public comment. I appreciate there being a democratic process. Very much, Mr. Chairman. And the Budget Committee is made up of members who are elected, except for the three appointees, and some selectmen like to condemn appointees, but the three appointees, one of which is on your body that you appoint. So, not everyone in the budget committee was scared or afraid of the actions that you took because some of us actually saw the game as you were playing it. And that's why all of us didn't respond to the garbage that was coming out of these kangaroo courtrooms you've been holding for the last few months. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else want to? Speak of public comment. Seeing none, I'll bring it back to the board for comment. Community event, community calendar? Sure, events and community calendar.